Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle First, and welcome back to Star Valor, where we are currently in a Vengi sector, thankfully. Oh, there's an improved repair beam just sitting around over there. I don't think I'll uh, miss out on that. Thank you. What a game. I don't, I, I, I don't know where that came from. It just appeared. Huh. We've got two missions in this area, by the looks of it. Hmm, yes, we need to go to that other Vengi base over there. I don't know why. We should probably head over there, but uh, in this episode, I'm hoping to go and grab the uh, the sort of secret ship uh, that uh, that you get for uh, for doing a um, a specific thing, which I explained in the last video, which is to say, uh, I uh, I went into a dark sector at about level 15, I think, uh, and uh, had the experience. Of uh, of finding a big ship which tried to shoot me, uh, and uh, and uh, then from that, what I did was I uh, I um, what did I do? I uh, I shot it, yes, uh, and it uh, turned out to have a AI controlling it. And this chap says it's gone to this particular place in space, so 47.4, uh, and we need to get there to actually see if we can grab that ship. Now, it has to be somewhere that we've got a little um, flashing what's it. So, somewhere flashing what's it. 47? Uh, there's 40 something over there. Is it down there? Is, is that it? Yes, it is. 47.4. Oh, we can teleport straight there. Wonderful. I wonder I wonder how it's going to be. Oh, this could be dangerous. Ah, we have a blue symbol over here, which means that it has to be over there, whatever it is. I'm hoping that it's just the ship. Have I... wait, have I got a tractor beam on this ship? Because I'm guessing I'm going to need a tractor beam. Yeah, I've got a tractor beam on this ship. Excellent. Okay, so we've got a tractor beam on the ship. Which means, potentially, things are going to go fine. Or, potentially, not. I don't know. I could do with knowing uh, a station in this sector. Or maybe not. I don't know. Red Skull? Hey, eh? Why would it be there? Huh. Maybe it is there. Let us see. Nice um, sector, though. I always like these really bright ones, like the uh, the nebula sectors. I think this is a nebula sector, because I don't think our sensor is quite as good down here. And the background is very purple, along with the, uh, the nice, pretty um, the place in the background, which is nice. Okay, anyway. Ah, right. Uh, you arrive at a pretty secret... Uh, secure hangar in an empty part of the station. Ziggy fails to enter the code twice before it opens with a beep. Uh, there was here fast uh, parked on the docking bay just like Ziggy said. Yeah, he said it would be parked there um, to repair itself, uh, lick its wounds type thing, and hopefully the AI would have gone. And it looks like it has been repaired as well, with no sign of anomalies or unusual readings. You think to yourself, uh, deja vu? Why would I think that? I didn't do the tutorial on this character, so this character wouldn't think that at all. Anyway, uh, Ziggy. Like I told you, mate, it's here with all cannons aligned and ready for more. I'll just remain, uh, I'll just remain myself to no mess. What? I'll just remind myself to not mess with computers anymore. Just struggling with the reading by the looks of it. You wonder what's happened with the AI and then decide it's best to get out of here before someone else gets interested. Okay. Yeah, just avoid that for now and welcome to the team. Wonderful. Okay. I, uh, uh, this, yeah, we can actually eliminate pirates. That's allowed. We can do that. Yes. Along with that. Anyway, I wouldn't have even known about this mission if it wasn't for the very help, uh, helpful comments of Sean Wilson. So thank you, Sean. That was very helpful indeed. Uh, and, uh, and now we, we have this mission all set up and, and, and done, hopefully. So let's have a look if we can actually get the... Yes! Uh, one of those. It's a cruiser. Okay. It's got a tiny bit more... Um, a tiny bit more in everything really, hasn't it? It's got a tiny bit more in everything. Equipment is the most useful out of all of that lot. So let's swap over to that. 
That means that um, from now on we should be able to actually um, have this ship if we go that way and decide to have this ship. Let's see, it's got loads of rubbish on it, so uh, huh. oh, I'll have to do something about that. I could totally take everything off this ship here and put it onto that ship, uh, which is what I tend to do. So yeah, I might swap over and do that. But just look at that thing! It looks great, doesn't it? Hmm, yes. Okay, swap over, and let's just unequip everything. This I'm going to regret. Yep, I'm going to regret this. Almost immediately, I can tell you, because I've got so much stuff that I've been gathering down here uh, that this is oof, this is going to be a nightmare. There we go. Actually, no, that was the nightmare, wasn't it? Yes, no, the, the, yeah, and, and never mind. We're in the nightmare at the moment, so it can't be the nightmare. <laughs> right, uh, unequip wall. Yeah, yeah, am I really sure? No, no, it's a really bad idea. It's going to take me ages to pull, pull all this back again. Anyway, all of the people, yep, 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 we'll take them all off as well. Uh, let's uh, un uh, disembark, yes please, and you also disembark. Excellent. So now there's absolutely nothing and no one on this ship. Uh, which, and, and nothing. There's, there's, there is zilch on here. We need to get this Hephaestus... This, Oh no, we're on the Hellfast. Are we on the Hellfast? No, 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 swap over. Very brilliant. Okay, so we're on the Hellfast ship. Uh, and, uh, and now we can fill it with stuff. So, uh, let's do that. Let's give it loads of uh, large energy thingies. A huge battery. Because huge battery. Equipped with huge battery. Excellent. Huh, interesting. Oh, of course, it's not got an engineer on it yet. And as long as it's not got an engineer on it, it's going to not work anywhere near as much as it should do. So, okay, we'll have the not working um, setup for now uh, and work on the not working setup soon. All right, so we've already got like 53%. Now we need inertial stabilizers. That is very true indeed. So let's get those on there. Uh, gyroscope, large gyroscope. We have a large gyroscope, but another large gyroscope isn't going to hurt now, is it? Uh, shielding. Heavy shielding seems like a good idea. So let's go with the heavy shielding. Uh, I might have some small shields on there. I've got a Vengi shield here, but I've not actually, like, improved it any, and it's not great anyway in comparison to the heavy shields. So we might just go with the heavy shields. Now, we want the sensors, so let's have sensors. Uh, let's have sensor amplifier, yes. And then battle computer, where the heck is it? Okay, there's a battle computer Mark II here. I think I should probably put that on. Even though it's not blue or green or anything, it's just a battle computer, but we'll, we'll have it on there anyway, uh, because it's there. And again, we'll stick to the Mark II on things, because the Mark II is considerably better. Uh, let's see, do we need any of these? Nope, I think we'll just go with that one. And the Loot Analyzer Mark II is purple. One of the only purples we have, apart from the mobile, um, uh, the basic mobile refinery. I've been using the refinery quite a lot. I've been doing quite a lot of, um, of uh, what is it, it's that thing that I do, uh, mining. I've been doing loads of mining, because mining, yes, uh, and very helpful indeed. Uh, impact absorber, definitely, and the cargo module, so more car cargo, uh, cargo expansion module, yes. Brilliant. Oh, look at the energy drain away. Uh, that's because we've not put any crew on the thing yet. So we need crew. Who looks like good crew? You look like somebody who could be good crew, potentially. Uh, you're supposed to be the um, uh, first officer or the pilot? Uh, captain, first officer. Yeah, okay. So it's captain or the first officer. I've been using him as the pilot, so he can he can be used as the pilot. Now we need an engineer as fast as possible uh, so that we don't have that. Oh, let's, uh, Ziggy's brilliant at being a gunner. So let's put Ziggy as, the gu uh, as a gunner in the selection of gunners that I should be using. Uh, we still need somebody to do the uh, uh, um, engineering. Are you a good engineer? I mean, give us 1% of thingy. Uh, is there anybody who's a better engineer? I do not appear to have a better engineer. Okay. So the uh, the engineer is going to have to be Hank. 
Hank, you can be our engineer. Uh, only engineer who's going to give us the ability to actually have some shields and, and some power. Yes, we have the power. I wonder if we've got any uh, nice, nice shields in this place. Do you have heavy shields? Oh, you do have heavy shields. Ooh, now then. Uh, maybe we should buy some heavy shields. Buy, purchase those things. Excellent. Ooh, sensor amplifier Mark Three. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we have that as well. Brilliant. Uh, what else is there? There's a Pathfinder Mark Three. Let's have that. Wonderful. Ooh, there's all sorts of technology that I want to use. I bet you that I can't use them. I bet. <laughs> I've not got the tech level. I'd be very surprised if I had the tech level for those. Ugh. Rats. Uh, hmm. Have they got a better warp drive? No, not so lucky. I've got the huge, huge battery. I don't need any more huge batteries. Okay, let's go back into the Watsits and have a look at the thingies uh, and see if the thingies can go in the Watsits and sort things out. So, heavy shields. Uh, two. Ah. Another heavy shield. Yeah. Still 600 and something. Why is it still 600 and something? It should be far more than 600 and something now, shouldn't it? Unless I've got that wrong. I don't know. Anyhow, we will put the sensors on. Better sensor amplification stuff. Why is it seemingly smaller sensor amplification stuff? This does not seem right. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably because of the being in the uh, the uh, what's it the, the 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 nebula. That's the one. That's, it's, it's all the nebula's fault, I tell you. Right. Okay. So we we're sort of set up with that. We we still need crew, don't we? Uh, we need a navigator. I'm sure there's a navigator here somewhere. Oh, that's probably why why we we got. No, it isn't. I was just thinking that might be why we've got rubbish uh, rubbish what's it? But no, navigator done. Uh, yes. And then we need who? Who do we need? We need a gunner, yeah. Supervisor, maybe. Maybe. Uh, yeah, we need a supervisor. Okay, so you can go as the supervisor. There! You are a supervisor. Now, are we out of people that we have to have? We have a first officer need. Uh, so let's try and find someone from a first officer. Ah! Tech level in increase. Let's see if we can get that as first officer. Will that actually work yes brilliant okay so our tech level will go up 10 percent faster uh that's wonderful now we need there was one person who had a really good bonus one of them has a bonus that gets at oh it's all right warp distance is increased by 31 percent. that's already in that's great okay uh we have this is a bonus for space pilots i don't know what that does critical damage uh, and critical critical damage. So I put those on the gunner side, but their aim is terrible. So uh, it's not great having bad aim on gunners, but uh, we're just going to have to have bad aim on gunners. Um, right, what's this one? Pilot. I don't need a pilot. You're not necessary. Let's stick you as a uh, staff member potentially. There, you are staff. And you don't even get the bonus from that. Okay, fine. Uh, fleet ships, something or other. Yeah, staff. That's it. Do I get that? Okay, I get the I get the energy generation plus two percent. That's good. Uh, and we get to um, up this and up the shields. Ah, that's how we up the shields dramatically. But our speed is going to be terrible. Not only is our speed going to be terrible, our ability to turn uh, and such like are also going to be terrible. Uh, so that's going to be fun. And we don't have any guns. That's also a thing that's going to be a problem if I don't actually equip them. Okay, so guns. Yes. And some more guns. Yes. And potentially more guns. Yes. And always a mining laser because I want to mine as well. And the PD laser are very helpful for just in case I get in trouble. Uh, what else is there? There's, um, I have lateral thrust stabilizers. I've got loads of shields. I could definitely put some more shields on if I wanted to. Hmm. As I said before, I've been saving things for other ships so that I can send Larry out 
on other ships and everything will be great um but uh there's a, there's a high likelihood that uh, that um, it's going to take me a while uh, i don't want the guns controlled by anybody else because they're rubbish at them, them uh at the moment uh so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change those over so that they fire when i tell them to and uh, no 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 uh, yeah and then that, and then yeah, and then this, and then yeah, and then this also with the yeah, and then that's all good, right? Apart from the mining laser, I will change the mining laser to E. Brilliant. So now everything is set up. Excellent. Obviously, we've only got half the guns that we could have, uh, which means that I really should buy more guns potentially. Have I got any more missile launchers? I could have some missile launchers. Now, burst or rubbish? Now, nah, I guess I shall go with the burst ones. All right, so one... How many can... I could have ten? Wow. Okay, I'll just have a few then. I can't even remember how many I picked up. Six! Okay, let's see if that works. Uh, go back to the hangar, and let's just put on loads of missile launchers. Equip, 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 equip. Loads more missile launchers. Yes! Brilliant! Okay, uh, and then we can change all of their keys over to that one. And then... We will have so many missiles. Ha ha ha. Yes. Brilliant. And more missiles. Yeah! Okay, so now we're all missiles, practically. Uh, has that ship got anything else on it? Yes, it has everything on it. So let's uh, deposit all of everything. Deposit it all. Thank you. And then go back to the other one in the hangar. Oh, it's here. Swap. And then take all of this. Load all. Uh, load all of these. Yes. And these. Did I put a warp drive on there? I'm not even sure I put a warp drive on there. I bet I didn't. It wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if I didn't put a warp drive on there. Okay, nickel. Uh, why do I need all that iron? Let's sell all of the iron. Yes. There, they can have the iron. Can they have the gold and stuff as well? Oh, that's rubbish. Uh, ooh, you can sell the gold for a lot of money. Brilliant. Sell all. We'll get rid of that then. Copper, nobody wants that. Uh, that's all fine. Okay, we've not got too much by way of energy. Yeah, I've got a bit of energy, but not too much. Uh, now, what else is there? Did I put the warp drive on? That's the most important thing. Yes, I put the warp drive on. I could potentially level it up. We do have four of those, uh, but it seems like a bit of a waste. Can I can I um, get an improved kit? I haven't got enough basic components. So we need to find some basic components, and then we will have some basic components. In the meanwhile, we now have a very big Corvette, is it? I, I think it's Corvette, which, which, which when we fire its missiles is going to be a treat because there is going to be missiles everywhere. Look at this thing. This is huge and fascinating. Uh, so, yes, I think it's a pirate ship. I can't tell. Uh, let's see, what's over there? There's a, there's a thing over there. So let's go over there and see what that thing is and see if it's any use. If it is any use, then we have a thing, potentially. Or, alternatively, we might be shooting pirates, which is also fine because uh, I, could do with the, I could do with testing out the ship's abilities. It's relatively okay speed wise that's good this looks like a distress thing oh it's not a distress thing at all it's just a go there thing with a nothing there brilliant okay uh, just free cash and free experience for doing nout that's fine there's an escape pod that's always useful all right go to escape pod distress signal found where nice planet huh that's one of those... Uh, well, it's, a, it's very much like ours, isn't it? It's kind of an Earth-like. It, it, it really is. Ooh, mercenaries. Huh. Mercenary hideout discovered. Took a while, but we got it now. Uh, I don't really want to go to that uh, debris field because it's 26, and I'm not, I'm not capable. But I could get some energy cells from it, I guess. Ah, another escape pod. Excellent. I'm getting escape pods all over the place here. Which means more crew all the way. Gibby crew. Okay. Uh, what's uh, what's your wonderful ability? 
Walk distance plus one as navigation. Ah! Chance to mine special metals. You are very important. Uh, okay. Sense of power. Okay, I, I kind of want to put you on the ship already. Ah. I have no spaces in staff anymore. That is a shame. Well, you can be fired. On a sign. Because you're rubbish. Uh, whereas this person is brilliant. Uh, necessary. And it doesn't work anyway. You need to be in the super the supervisor position. What's what's in the supervisor position is mining speed. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to swap those around later. I'll definitely keep that person because wow, the the mining ability is like the most important thing that I that I have at the moment. So I'm definitely going to try and keep that. There might be a station over there. There might be a station over here. It's well worth checking them out. Uh, because if we can have stations, then we can have stations, which will be wonderful again. Uh, so yeah, the more the more stations we can have, the better. Anything? It's a little bit more difficult to find places with this uh, with this type of. That's a bit weird. It makes it look as if the the sort of nations are floating over the world a bit. Interesting. Okay. Well, that doesn't matter. That's uh, totally irrelevant to finding a station, uh, which is over here. Well, looks a bit. Oh, there's a station over here. Oh, look, it's a tin head workshop. Brilliant. You couldn't get better. Uh, let's see if we can buy ourselves some awesome stuff at the tin head workshop. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Great. Okay. <laughs> I wish we could buy, like, um, blueprints and stuff from here uh well i know that we can buy these blueprints but i mean for ships uh okay uh the zutrium armor warp tower thingy rapid uh, no none of that superior component Do, don't we have the crafting material for the superior component no we don't we don't have that all right i'll get that then right let me have that thank you uh, battle computer, nah. Uh, plasma torpedoes. I don't even know what those are. I mean, do they actually use missile ammo? No, they don't, do they? They're just, they're just something that you use the, uh, the what's it for. Scrap metal, I could take some scrap metal, I don't know. Nah, none of these seem to stand out to me as anything that I really want. Which is a shame. Ah! The uh, inertial nullifier is a good one. So is the lateral thruster, but that's a normal one. Mm. The asteroid analyzer Mark II might be good. Wow, they're expensive. They are all so pricey. Huh. The inertial nullifier is great, though. It really is. I bet I can only get one as well. Bah, I can only get one. Rubbish. Okay, fine. Uh, so there's nothing else here that I particularly want, but in this section we have something awesome, which is going on the ship immediately, uh, and this could, which could, we can learn. Great! So we've learnt stuff. Can we sell any of these? No, of course we can't. They're not interested in buying stuff. They're hardly ever interested in buying stuff. Alright, let's go over this way and see if we can find another station over here, because maybe another station! Uh, and then, and then I... I I was going to prepare the saw for it to be uh, for it to be my um, my helpful ship at the side, but now uh, it looks like we're going to be using the um, the other ship. What was the other ship? The other ship, the, sh the ship that's down there for uh, for Larry and his crew. Uh, so I'll have to buy another crew as well because obviously if, we, if Larry's ship's going to be any good, it's going to have to be crewed up. That's for certain. A debris field. This one's level twenty-seven. Ah, we're leveled up. What, what did I do to do that? I don't know. It's, it was an achievement anyway. Ah, there's nothing here. Oh, well, never mind. Let's see what we can do with the leveling. I've obviously already got the uh, the cargo expansion for there, which gives us less... Um, less... It, it, it's... Uh, yeah. Metal takes up less space. That's fine. And we have more cargo space in there as well. So now I've got to think really carefully about what I want on my ship. Uh, and we've been doing the uh, this the exploration thing because being able to get further is really useful uh, So I might do that, but I also want to 
get to... Where is it? There! Plus one rarity items for obtaining through scavenging. That's that's really quite good. And this... 2% uh, ch chance to find refined metals with scavenging as well is really good as well. So uh, those, those are the sorts of zones that I'm heading for. Anyhow, we have now got a wonderfully exciting secret ship. Uh, and uh, and we have uh, we have sort of decked it out with everything that it needs, isn't it fancy? Yes, uh, but uh, we'll have to test it out uh, in the next episode because I'm all out of time. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.